Hello friends, I am Shamshuddin. I welcome you financial accounting classes. In this class, I am going to prepare debtors account to find out cash received from the debtors. Let us read the problem. Find out cash received from the debtors from the following particulars. The details are given. Opening debtors rupees 5000, total sales rupees 35000, cash sales rupees 5000, bills receivable received rupees 10000, bills receivable dishonored rupees 2000, bad debts rupees 500, discount allowed rupees 1500, sales returns rupees 1000, provision for doubtful debts rupees 1000, closing debtors rupees 4000. Based on these details, let us prepare debtors account. Let us solve this problem. In this problem, the details are given. Based on these details, find out cash received from debtors from the following particulars. Debtors account is an asset account which shows opening balance debit to balance brought down. The amount given is 5000. Opening balance is 5000. And they have given total sales rupees 35,000 and cash sales rupees 5,000. So we must take credit sales. Credit sales is nothing but total sales, total sales minus cash sales. Total sales minus cash sales. Total sales is given 35,000 minus cash sales is 5,000. It becomes 30,000. See in this problem, credit sales is given. Bills receivable received. Means when they will give bills receivable received, receivable account. This is the amount. Is usually a transferring entry from the bills receivable, rupees 10,000. Then there is a bills receivable dishonored. When there is a bills is dishonored, we must take bills receivable bills receivable so this is the dishonor dishonored so the amount is rupees 2000 and bad debts is given 1500 no bad debts rupees 500 i'll take 500 and discount allowed must be taken Credit side discount allowed. Discount allowed is rupees thousand five hundred. And provision for doubtful debts must not be taken. And there is a balance of closing stock by balance carried down. This is a closing ba balance. It is four thousand. And sales returns is given i'll take sales returns sales returns rupees 1000 1000 and no other amount is given then the difference balance will be called as the cash or bank so this is the balancing figure i'll take 37000 same I'll take credit at 37,000. In 37,000 I should deduct the above said items. 10,000, 12,000, 13,000, 17,000. Means 20,000 is the difference. This is balancing figure. This is balancing figure. Balancing figure. So in this way, debtors account is prepared. Usually debtors account or the difference or balancing figure will be the credit sales. But sometimes the balancing figure may be cash or bank. This is the balancing figure in this problem. This is very important adjustment in this problem. Thank you. Jai Hind.